Now that iOS 18 is released, if you own the pair of AirPods, you also got some new updates as well. So long as you have the second generation AirPod Pros, doesn't matter if it's a Lightning version or the USB-C version right here, as we have in front. So long as you are on the latest version of the AirPods, you have these new abilities because as soon as you connect your device to an iPhone that's on iOS 18, if you see this new splash screen animation, that means your device now has it. You just gotta hit continue and it'll walk you through everything right here. But I'll go more in detail on some additional settings Apple added that they didn't really talk about. Now my device updated overnight, but to verify that you are on the latest firmware update for the AirPods, it's as simple to just Unlock your device, put on a pair of AirPods, make sure you are connected, and then go to your settings. And then typically on the very top, where it shows your AirPods that you are wearing that are connected, if they don't pop up, just start playing music and bring this down and select your AirPods manually. But from here, going back in the main setting menu, select the AirPods, scroll all the way down until you see version number. Click on here. If you see version number 7A294, you're good, you have them. If not, my best result was to put on the AirPods, wear them for like five minutes, listen to media, YouTube videos, movies, or a playlist of songs, and then put them back in the case and plug these in and have your phone nearby and they should automatically update. Because unfortunately, there's no manual force update for the AirPods, even on the latest generation with the USB-C, unfortunately. But nonetheless, once you're connected, on the very top portion right here, this is all stuff that we already are familiar with. Of course, on top here where it says name is where you go in and rename it to your own personal preference. But if we scroll down where it says head gesture, if it's turned off, just turn this on. And then on the very bottom where it says try gestures, the phone will walk you through everything. So if you get a message from Siri while you're wearing the earbuds, if the response is a yes or a no, now you can just simply nod your head. So if you hit continue and nod your head, you hear this very interesting ball animation in the ear. And it also gets better whenever you nod your head right to left as an example. So if I go left to right, it does the same animation. Super interesting, really awesome actually. But then you're all set. You could just now hit done. So whenever Siri pops up saying, Frank is calling you as an example, nod your head for yes to pick up or no to decline or dismiss. And where it says accept and reply up and down, you could also reverse it if you want it to be no to accept. I'm not sure why you want to do that, but you can. Apple gave us that freedom. Same goes for decline. If you wanted to be a yes, nod to the client that call you could do that and when we go back it will automatically reverse the other one so it doesn't get mixed up it does it all automatically now in addition to that another cool feature that apple gave the airpod pro second gen can be located in the adaptive audio in here now you can actually customize the adaptive audio if you want to be more noise or less noise so now we finally have a slider unfortunately no eq setting slider yet maybe in the near future but nonetheless this is good progress if we go back here and let's go ahead and call our friend marky mark give mark a call right now hey mark i'm making a youtube video i'm just having you on the line real quick but now whenever you're on a phone call with somebody and then launch control center on the top portion where it shows the microphone icon you can now toggle between the isolated sound. So if you want to isolate your phone call even more, if there's a lot of background noise, just select voice isolation. But of course you can select standard or automatic where the AirPods themselves will detect if you're in a loud environment or not. And it shows you the live, oops, it shows you the audio waves right there in real time. So it could adapt quickly in case your environment does go a bit too hectic. But you'll be surprised how great the voice isolation actually does perform to give you the best crispy phone call quality to the other person. Now with iOS 18, we did receive a new game mode. And whenever you're using AirPods Pro second generation as your gaming headset of choice whenever you're mobile gaming, now the AirPods have a new game mode. By clicking on a game of some sort, Minecraft in our case, our phone will automatically go into game mode and we could enable it here in case it does turn off like it did in our case. And now we are in game mode. And the benefits of having your device in game mode, not only will the FPS rate will increase because it's going to prioritize your game as well as other background resources, giving the best frame rate 
and gaming experience when mobile gaming. And this means the latency on AirPod Pros are also reduced significantly. So there's no delay whatsoever when it comes to gameplay audio as well as microphone quality. But now if you're looking forward to the hearing aid functionality for the AirPod Pros, well, the good news and bad news is the good news is it has been improved, approved by the FDA to be used as proper hearing aid to those that need it. The bad news is it's not yet available on iOS 18. Apple said this feature is going to be released at the end of this year. No specific date yet at the time making this video. But that alone is absolutely incredible, especially when you take into consideration hearing aid equipment is really expensive. They're almost five times more the price than AirPod Pros. And these things are ridiculously advanced compared to basic technology that hearing aids have to offer. And the fact that AirPods will now have this ability to be used as a hearing aid, that's just revolutionary. And that makes hearing aids more available to those that actually need it without coughing a lot of money. As another feature that's coming to the AirPod Pros is hearing testing. As this is a new clinic grade hearing test, you can just take from your device. As all you will need is just an iPhone on iOS 18 and AirPods on the latest firmware update. So you'll be able to take a hearing aid test right there without having to leave your home to go to like a doctor's office or something like that. So that's really incredible and it will keep track of everything in a course in your health app. And just like those over the year hearing tests you'll typically take, it will just play tones using your earbuds and you'll just simply tap on the screen to respond if you hear something or not. And it will examine everything and analyze everything right then and there and give you your end results. I'm assuming if it notices you need hearing aids for certain frequencies, well your AirPod Pros are right there and they're able to help you out in case you do need some kind of hearing aid. And just like it is with the ECG on the Apple Watch, you'll be able to share these results with other people like your personal doctor. And if you pass with flying colors, it's good to know that wearing AirPod Pros will now be able to help prevent you from experiencing any hearing loss. And this will work by just wearing the AirPod Pros and it will automatically silent any loud noises. So basically it'll turn your AirPods into active hearing protection earbuds that you can just wear comfortably day to day so if you accidentally walk into a Home Depot and someone turns on like a little table saw of some sort, the AirPods will be able to respond and adapt immediately to prevent any hearing harm from happening. This isn't anything new from Apple as Apple always had this like hearing notification tool, especially on the Apple Watch where the Apple Watch is able to monitor the decibel levels you are exposed to on a daily basis and will notify you if, if you have been exposed to like high decibels for a long duration that's known to cause hearing issues or hearing damage of some kind. But it's good to know that the AirPod Pros now have this safety feature built in. So now we'll actually try to fight back instead of just notifying you that you've been exposed to high decibels for quite a while. And then these AirPod Pro features are not just available for your iPhone. They're also available on the Apple TV as well. And I'm assuming other Apple devices like your Mac and your iPad, of course. So there you guys have it. That is everything new for the AirPod Pro second generation on the latest firmware update. Make sure to stay tuned where I go in depth in more cool hidden features and some cool tips and tricks I'd like to share with you guys. That video should be coming out next week. But in case that video is already up as you're watching this video, I'll have the card right over there. If not, it'll be my other video where I feature the accessories I use day to day on my AirPod Pros. Thank you so much for watching.